Can you believe that despite the staggering average wage of £30,000 per week for football league players, some professional football stars end up broke? Some athletes face numerous financial challenges, from bad investments to messy divorces and even gambling sprees that would make Vegas blush. Being a top-notch footballer doesn't automatically make you a financial guru. Some fell victim to shady characters looking to exploit their wealth and lack financial know-how. So, stick around because we promise to uncover the personal stories behind some of these athletes' financial struggle. Let's dive in, starting with the footballer number. 9. Celestine Babayaro. Meet Celestine Babayaro. You might remember him as part of the legendary dream team that brought home Nigeria's Atlanta Olympics gold medal in 1996. With lightning speed and unparalleled skill, Babayaro captured the hearts of fans worldwide. But Babayaro's journey didn't stop there. He made his mark in the English Premier League, donning the jerseys of Chelsea and Newcastle United. At the peak of his career, he was earning a hefty £25,000 a week. However, despite his on-field success, Babayaro found himself facing a different kind of challenge. In 2010, a court in Croydon declared him bankrupt, with official confirmation following in 2011. With over 339 appearances for Liverpool, 132 for AS Roma, 98 for Fulham, and 116 for the Norway national team, Reese seemed to have it all. But in 2007, the unthinkable happened. He declared bankruptcy. The former Liverpool fullback, rumored to rake in a whopping £30,000 per week, found him on the government's insolvency list. Reese had accumulated an unpaid debt totaling £100,000. But that's not all. The case was reportedly linked to an alleged £3 million fraud in Norway. Reese found himself drowning in debts from failed business ventures including a hotel venture gone sour. 7. Diego Maradona When indicating financial debts, Maradona's name is right at the top. The Argentine legend's life has been a roller coaster of controversies, from the infamous Hand of God incident in the 1986 FIFA World Cup to his battles with drug addiction. But it was in 2009 that Maradona's financial woes hit a breaking point. The Italian authorities revealed that he owed a staggering 37 million euros in unpaid taxes, penalties, charges, and interest from his playing days at Napoli. To settle his debts, Maradona surrendered assets, including 42,000 euros in cash, two Rolex watches, and a set of earrings. But he made it clear that he had no intention of setting foot in Italy until justice was served. As if his financial troubles weren't enough, Maradona faced another setback in 2010 when he lost his job as Argentina's national coach due to poor performance. 6. David James Despite earning an estimated £20 million over his illustrious 25-year career, James declared bankruptcy in May 2014. James seemed to have it all, with 53 caps for the England national team and over 800 senior appearances for clubs like Liverpool, Manchester City, and Portsmouth. But his troubles began to mount, especially after a costly divorce in 2005. As debts piled up, James was forced to part ways with his prized possessions. Signed shirts, shorts, and balls went under the hammer at an auction, fetching varying prices. No item was spared from an England shirt worn in the Three Lions 2002 World Cup win over Argentina to a Liverpool FC goalkeeper's jersey from the 1995-96 season. 5. Eric Jemba Jemba Signed by Sir Alex Ferguson for a hefty £3.5 million from Nantes in 2003, Jemba Jemba seemed destined for greatness. But behind the scenes, his financial woes were beginning to unravel. You see, Jemba Jemba had a weakness for the finer things in life. From flashy cars to extravagant luxuries, he couldn't resist indulging in an expensive lifestyle. Unfortunately, his love for opulence overshadowed his ability to manage his finances wisely. Despite earning a whopping £75,000 per month during his stint at Old Trafford, Jimba Jimba declared bankruptcy in 2007. Yes, you heard that right. Bankrupt, despite owning four luxury cars and holding 30 different bank accounts. 4. Keith Gillespie Gillespie was instrumental in Newcastle United's Champions League campaign as part of the Golden Generation that clinched the Youth Cup in 1992. With 80 caps for Northern Ireland, He's hailed as a national hero. But in 2010, Gillespie's world came crashing down. At the age of 35, 
he was declared bankrupt. Shockingly, he revealed that he lost a staggering £7,215,875 throughout his career. Where did it all go wrong? Much of Gillespie's fortune vanished into thin air through years of gambling. Add some ill-fated property investments and involvement in a film scheme, and you have a recipe for financial disaster. 3. Emil Heskey Formerly worth a staggering £12 million, Heskey now finds himself on the brink of bankruptcy due to a series of failed investments and a significant tax dispute. Reports indicate that Heskey was involved in a celebrity investment scheme at the center of a £1.6 billion tax dispute, leading to financial woes. During his prime, around 2009, Heskey commanded a hefty £25,000 a week salary at Leicester City before his move to Liverpool. But despite his lucrative career, financial missteps led to his downfall. In a recent development, Heskey was found to have defaulted on £92,000 of tax while working as a football development officer. He was slapped with a hefty fine of £42,000. Adding to his woes, the high court shut down a celebrity bar he ran with his wife in Alderley Edge with debts totaling £163,000. The bar, known as Peria, once catered to footballers and WAGs in the Cheshire Enclave. 2. Paul Gascoigne Formerly of Spurs, Rangers, Newcastle United, in the England national team, Gascoigne narrowly dodged bankruptcy in 2016 after facing an unpaid tax bill of £42,000. Gascoigne's financial downfall was fueled by a series of struggles with depression and substance abuse, leading to the squandering of a fortune exceeding £20 million. Despite once receiving a £2 million signing-on fee and a hefty £22,000 a week wage, Gascoigne's battle with personal demons overshadowed his financial success. Gascoigne later admitted to heavy drinking and cocaine use before arriving at the scene, shedding light on his ongoing battle with addiction and mental health issues. 1. Ronaldinho In the 2000s, Ronaldinho was a force to be reckoned with, winning the Ballon d'Or in 2005 and capturing the hearts of fans worldwide with his dazzling skills and infectious smile. But while he lit up stadiums with his artistry on the pitch, Ronaldinho's extravagant lifestyle off the field led to financial troubles. Despite his immense success, reports surfaced in 2018 that he had just £5 in his bank account while facing debts of up to £1.75 million. To make matters worse, Ronaldinho was in legal trouble and was heavily fined for illegal construction in Brazil. Despite efforts to remortgage his property, the former Barcelona star couldn't cover his debts, leading to a judge ordering the seizure of his passport. And if that wasn't enough, Ronaldinho faced further humiliation in 2020 when he was imprisoned in Paraguay for allegedly entering the country with forged documents. And there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. If you love the video, please make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment. Stay tuned for more.